What is up RC enthusiasts? Today we have this guy for you. Nice brushless RC boat right here with some cool graphics on it. This is a 17 inch brushless boat. It's got plastic rudder, plastic propeller, plastic trim tabs, and it comes with a 3S lithium ion battery. Now I'm gonna be running this today on a typo battery because those are lighter batteries and it should give this a little bit more pop and I'll put a link in the description below to those batteries as well because they fit in here perfectly. They are 1600 milliamp versus the 2000 on the lithium ion, but it should run pretty well on this and you get two. So it's pretty good and the price is pretty good on those batteries. So yeah, this guy right here runs on 3S, it's brushless and it's pretty much pretty hobby grade except for obviously full plastic hull. But this thing looks like it can be pretty fun, kind of like the barbed wire. If you guys ever seen the 17 inch barbed wire, I have the 24 inch barbed wire sitting back there on my shelf. I haven't ran in a while, but I really like those things. I'm going to take this out for a run at a local little pond or a lake, a little park. Let's go ahead and let's check out how this thing performs. Well, I'm out here at a local park. As you can see the water level at the park is actually pretty high. I've never seen that before. So let's go ahead and let's run this little boat that fits in your backpack. Let's run it out here. I'm going to be running these batteries right here. I'm not sure if that's clear on there, but these are the Sport Power 1600 mAh 11.1 .1 volt 120C resell lipos right here link will be in the description below so check these lipos out i use this on uh, other rigs too i keep calling everything rigs you know this is not a rig this is a boat david come on as you can tell right here i have the little safety nose cone on but i'm probably not going to run it with it because it looks better without it on but if you're going to be running it in a pool or something i recommend that you know but if there's people in the water in the pool i still don't recommend this at all because the open prop in the back right there you know get one of those uh jet jams or something for your pool so that way you have the jet power you know the jet powered style and you don't have to worry about hurting people in a pool i'm not sure if i mentioned in there but it has lights these blue lights at the front right here or not really front but the sides and two red lights in the back some night running i guess but yeah be careful with this thing once the battery's plugged in there's no on and off switch it's just but that's how all the hobby grade boats are so just get used to that be safe stay away from that prop and there's a little warning label back there so let's take this on the water I'm going to put it in upside down because it's supposed to be self-riding. It's not one of those boats where you have to go back and forth to get the self-ride. It's just supposed to self-ride instantly. And I do have a lipo in here instead of the lithium ion, so I'm not sure if it's going to self-ride. So I'm going to do it really close right here. All right, self -ride it. All right, it's turning left sharper than right. So I gotta trim it out, it's kind of just going to the left a little bit. So steering trim, speed switches all the way up. There you go, now it turns pretty equally. You can tell everything's proportional. You can go slow if you want to. You know, no wake zone, no wake zone. And you could turn this a little bit or a lot and it turns a lot better the faster you go that's how these ones work the range is pretty good pretty stable i don't know if i had to guess the speed probably like 17 miles an hour that's just my guess And this is a water cooled, so if you're going fast enough, you'll be able to see water coming out of the little outlet. There you go, you can see it right there. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. Even at this speed, there's already water coming out, so it's pretty efficient in cooling. And when you're going this fast, water's just cooling out of there. It's a pretty quick boat. And if you're not too fussy about colors, the older color, which is still the same internally, still the same speed and everything, brushless, that one is a little cheaper than this one right now. This was pretty cheap at uh, the, you know, the, the two-day sale they had. The prime day sale, I think that was called it. It's not that much more than it was then, so still a pretty good budget in my opinion. You could probably turn a little bit better. Maybe a, uh, not sure if the servo horn has a little bit more adjustment, adjustability right there for the throw for the steering but if not you could always put a longer servo horn on there and get more throw but i mean once you're going speed that's really all the turning you need it's just when you're going slow you know it suffers right there that's full turn the barbed wire can do circles around this thing 
Well, not really circles, but this is pretty good too. <laughs> pretty cool. It's so stable. Look at this. I'm full, full left and full right, and it's just doing these little cool little slalom status. There you go. Nice little jump section now. Got some ramps. Pretty cool, guys. It's pretty fun. And this speed is definitely good enough for anyone to enjoy. Yes, there are faster. I think the barbed wire is a little bit faster than this. And that's also running on 3S. Yeah, by the way guys this thing has reverse it's so weird for me to see a boat that has like a reverse but it works good if you just use just a little bit of throttle see full throttle it starts cavitating and it's not that great but if you just use just a little bit of throttle look at that reversing just fine yo guys that's it for this guy today it's a good runner i've been out here for over five minutes already and it's still pretty much the same power so i'm guessing maybe it you know, 10 minute run time, especially if you're just going to do like a lot of these half throttle runnings like this. But full throttle blast, I don't know, maybe 7 minutes of full throttle blast, 5 to 7 minutes. But yeah, this thing's a blast. Very fun. Looks really cool too. I like the color scheme for sure. Definitely a fan of it. Alright, let's open it up. It's just right here. Uncut opening. Ooh, completely dry. If the top cover is dry, I'm pretty sure inside there is dry, so... Yeah, but let's open it up anyway, just to make sure, 100% sure. Look at that. Completely dry in there, guys. Not a drop of water. Awesome. I can definitely recommend this boat. Alright, guys. Thanks for watching, as always. And, you know, stay safe out there, have fun, and go run that RC.